The private sector. Who is the private sector? Development economists and development practitioners have a somewhat disturbed relationship with the private sector, either in public institutions because they're so scared that somebody will say, oh, you did something because you thereby favored a company. There are those who look at multinationals as often having usurped national legislation, taking advantage of tax loopholes, moving capital freely. And indeed, one of the questions is, why should the private sector get away with billions of dollars of revenue and yet hardly paying any taxes because they just have better tax consultants? But that's not really a crime of companies. It's the failure of public policy. And it took the OECD until about two or three years ago, and the G7, and then the G20 to say, we are being stupid here. It's we who create these tax loopholes, and therefore it is perhaps now up to us to also do something about it. The private sector, at the end of the day, I believe, has to be a central actor in development. And don't always think of Amazon.com or GM or you know, uh, Tesla, for that matter, as the private sector. The private sector starts with the farmer who produces a kilo of tomatoes and tries to sell them at the market once a week. It is the person who is able to open a corner shop or run a cell phone system or an MPESA system in Kenya and earns just enough to get to the next level. In fact, the private sector is 70% to 80% of our economy, virtually everywhere. Public finance, public budgets that governments run usually account for less than 20% of GDP. So if you want to have development take a different trajectory respond to the intrade that we have here and want to define that with the private sector being somehow a consequential actor in this, I think we are making a great mistake. <laughs>